Warzone is still broken on PC. Normally, my FPS hovers around the 200 mark, but ever since the most recent update, it's been around 100 or less. But there's gotta be something else wrong, because I've played many games at 100 or less FPS, and even on 60 FPS on console, and it's felt much smoother than it is right now. The game just feels extremely choppy and laggy. It almost feels like I'm playing on a Windows PowerPoint at this point. And 100 FPS is a decent amount of FPS to get, so why doesn't it feel smooth? It, it should with 100 FPS. There's just gotta be something else going wrong in the game. And the lower FPS has to have something to do with whatever is going wrong within the game or on their back end. On July 12th here, the same day that the update came out, they tweeted out saying that they're investigating reports of reduced performance for some PC players. But I'm kind of getting a feeling that it's the majority of PC players from everything I've seen online. And then later that same day, they tweeted out that this issue is still being added actively investigated and we will update with news on when a fix is available and then it was radio silence for the next two days and then last night they tweeted out that they are currently testing a fix that addresses the performance issues on pc they said thank you for your continued patience i don't think i've seen any pc player in the cod community be patient about this everyone's pissed but at the time of recording this video this issue still has not been fixed and this is the last that we heard from call of duty and as a pc player this has been incredible incredibly frustrating because the game is currently unplayable for us and I, I just want to make some videos and play the game so hopefully the issues are fixed by the time this video goes live but i i'm kind of doubting it so today we're playing warzone one we're gonna relive our glory days but can we just take a second to appreciate the simplicity of the menus i want to play battle royale solos and in warzone 2 that takes me like five minutes to find <laughs> But if you aren't aware of this, they are actually shutting down the Warzone 1 servers in September, which I find incredibly odd because you can still go back and play all the Call of Duties that came out a very long time ago and this game's only been out for three years and a lot of people including myself are extremely frustrated because all these operators we bought and all the blueprints we bought are all just completely gone and unusable in this game sure they will be usable in their respective games like we could hop on modern warfare 2019 and use the blueprints or black ops cold war or vanguard and use those blueprints and operators but i think the majority of people bought that stuff with the intention of using it in warzone so it just feels kind of scummy i will say though graphically this game looks like crap compared to warzone 2 and i was never a huge fan of caldera either i think this map is trash and i honestly do prefer almazra i actually think almazra is a great map i never understood why call of duty never did something like how PUBG or apex legends does it where they add a new map and then they allow you to play the old map and the new map they kind of rotate the map kind of like how they're doing with resurgence now instead of just completely getting rid of her dance it, it makes me kind of sad that we'll never actually get to play it again man i don't know where to land on this map should we go storage town for the nostalgia i kind of have a feeling the only people left playing this game are going to be extremely sweaty so i fully expect to get destroyed but i'm actually really excited to use the car 98 oh that's weird the weapons are like floating on the ground and we can slide cancel look at that boys i know a lot of people hate slide canceling but i was always a huge fan of it i love how it reset your tactical sprint and i really loved how you could like outplay your opponents with slide canceling i feel like that's an unpopular opinion now another great thing about warzone one is that when you jump in ads you barely get an ads speed attack oh I was gonna say penalty okay and yep there we go we're getting absolutely destroyed already i forgot how terrible this gulag is like this just hurts my eyes <laughs> a lot of people when they talk about how they miss the movement from warzone one they're not only talking about slide canceling they're missing the things like being able to ads and jump without getting a huge penalty to their ads speed they're talking about like strafe speed and just ads times in general warzone 2 just added a lot of unnecessary movement penalties penalties which make the game feel clunky compared to warzone 1 if you haven't noticed by now this video is gonna contain a lot of complaining because i'm pretty upset that i can't play warzone 2 i'm actually really excited to use the full auto shoddy i have it fully leveled up and it's ready to go but the game is unplayable for me let's get this loadout baby there it is baby oh there she is all faithful all real hey, 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 oh. it feels so weird to slide cancel around man I missed that. I missed that. Ooh, a gulag entry token. 
Oh, oh, someone's looking at me behind me. Okay, maybe, maybe Warzone 1 isn't full of only sweats. I forgot you can only hold five plates unless you get an armor satchel in this game. So that's a huge improvement that Warzone 2 made. I love being able to have just a massive backpack full of plates. The visibility on this map, and I think Warzone 1 in general, is just terrible. Like, this looks like absolute crap. Warzone 2 visually just looks levels better than Warzone 1, which I guess is expected. It's a, a newer game. There we go. We got an armor satchel. That's right. UAVs are only 4k in this, right? The loadouts are cheaper. I still don't understand why a loadout costs, I think it's $20,000 in squads, right? I hardly ever play squads, so I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's 20k, which kind of makes no sense because one of the big selling points to Warzone is you get to use your own custom loadout. That's a huge part of the fun in the game. Oh yeah, we got Hardline. So it's only 4,500. So that's right. They did up the price to 6K for UAV. And you know what? The menus in the buy station are so much simpler too. It's like the whole menu system in Warzone 2 just got a huge downgrade. And I'm just not sure why they did that. Oh, he's up here. Got, <laughs> got. The recoil in Warzone 1 is basically non-existent compared to Warzone 2 as well. I think that is somewhere that Warzone 2 did better is they actually gave some of the guns recoil. So they do take a bit of skill to use. Do you think I can get my loot? It was over here somewhere. Is that guy still up in this little tower? There's no way. Oh, he's down below. That's right. You can't pick up your perks in this game. That's another plus one to Warzone 2. I think that was a great addition. Where'd that guy go? There he is. I am so bad. Oh, dude, let me finish him. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. I'm getting sniped at by someone else though. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. That's not cool, man. I need to get to that guy I killed. I need plates, please. He didn't have plates. Oh my God. There's only 19 people left. This actually could be winnable. Okay, we got one plate. Oh my God, a second one. There's people fighting over there. Ignore the voice crack. We're gonna zip on him. We kill this guy, we get plates. We win. Okay. Where did that just come from? Am I blind? Someone just died in there. Oh, I saw him. He just jumped out. Oh my God, Satchel, huge. He's somewhere below us. Okay, there's another, no! There's no way, there's no way they're fighting. What a great game of Warzone 1. Listen, hopefully by the time this video is up, they fix Warzone 2 for us PC players. But if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. I'd really appreciate it. Sorry for all the complaining. Here's the web. Peace.